This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest four and a half minute forecast as we do have a lot to get to in this forecast, including the pretty chilly temperatures out there this morning. A lot of us are right now in the mid to lower 30s, currently 34 in Sherman, 36 in Dallas, and it is 37 in Claiborne. And it will be a nice day though. Obviously this morning it's cold, but we'll be well into the 50s by lunchtime. You can see 59 in Dallas, 60 in Weatherford, 66 in Abilene. Eventually by this afternoon, many of us will warm up into the mid to upper 60s, a few low 70s out to the west. So make sure to get outdoors today because this will be the warmest day until tomorrow where we drop into the 30s for high temperatures. Yes, I'm talking 30s for highs and lows into the teens possibly for some locations heading into Saturday morning. More on that later in this forecast. But let's head into the future radar because we have a chance for some wintry precipitation going to Friday. Now, obviously, everybody's wondering when this timing is going to be. Will this cause travel impacts? All that's going to be answered for you in this forecast. So you can see going in the morning hours, we'll probably just see some light rain here in DFW. Drizzle, most likely, maybe a little bit of sleet mixed in there, but uh, this would not be any sort of freeze precipitation around 7 in the morning. All that freezing precipitation will be off to the west, which would likely be in the form of sleet and snow. Eventually by about 10 in the morning, you can see these little bands of some sleet and snow will start to move closer to DFW. It'll be a bit of a wintry mix. Heading into around lunchtime, this starts to enter the DFW Metroplex, so this could be, has the potential to cause maybe a little thin layer of ice on the roads and especially on overpasses and bridges so if that does happen there could be some minor travel impacts maybe even some moderate travel impacts especially off to the north and west where we're expecting heavier batches of maybe some snow in that sleet to fall especially close to areas like Wichita Falls really any counties that are bordering the Red River Valley eventually by about three o'clock we start to transition into primarily snow in this area here it's more of a mix anywhere from Dallas Plano and up to Paris and Sherman would be going to the transition of just snow for a little bit. And it would be a pretty brief transition because of how quickly this system is going to be moving. Eventually, by about 6 o'clock, there might still be some snow bands passing through northern counties of DFW. And this eventually all clears out heading into Saturday and will be very cold heading into Saturday as well. All right, let's take a look at what I'm thinking in terms of what to expect. So early Friday, as I said before, we'll likely see a wintry mix from Denton and off to the west and as well as off to the north. Snow primarily for anywhere off to the north and west of Wichita Falls. And then primarily, rain here in Dallas, McKinney, and Sherman. However, heading to the afternoon hours, I'm expecting more of a snow transition for most of DFW, excluding far southeastern Dallas. So again, it looks like Gainesville, Sherman, Decatur, Denton will likely all transition into a brief snow transition. I think the heaviest totals, again, will likely happen around Gainesville and Sherman. Here's my current forecast, and I'm going to be honest, I'll shift this, I'll change this a little bit. I think this little blue area should extend back out here to the east, but other than that, we're looking at basically an inch or less for areas like Bowie, Gainesville, Decatur, and Wichita Falls. So anywhere from maybe a coating or dusting up to maybe an inch of snow, and I think an inch would be likely isolated. So keep that in mind. Maybe up to two inches. I can't rely on a couple inches for some isolated locations, but very isolated. I don't think that's going to happen to DFW. Here at DFW, we'll likely see maybe up to a coating if you're lucky, but other than that, it seems like that would be about it. We're not going to see anything significant out of this. Even though it's a big snow event because it's in March, it's not going to bring significant snow accumulation by any means. Here to give you an idea of what one of the computer models is showing, we're looking at maybe a coating up to an inch of snow in some spots, especially along the Red River Valley. I think that's where the best shot of some accumulative snow will be. Heading into tomorrow morning, we will again, it will not actually be as cold as you think. Dallas will only be 40. Uh, Sherman 34. Back out to the north and west, though, will be below freezing. So that's where we'll see that wintry precipitation, especially early on in the morning hours. However, we will drop basically throughout the afternoon. So you see about lunchtime or so, a lot of us will be in the mid to lower 30s in DFW and temperatures will not increase past about 33, 34 degrees in DFW. It will be chilly heading into Saturday morning as well. Temperatures in the 30s and 20s, primarily the 20s and teens are expected. Wind chills as well will be chilly on Saturday morning. A lot of us only in the teens for wind chills and some 20s in the DFW Metroplex. But let's take a look at your latest North Texas Weather Center seven day forecast. And you can see, Temperatures will be nice this weekend, even though it's going to be brutal on Friday. We'll be warming back up. Saturday will actually get well into the 50s, so it'll be a pretty nice day. Sunday into the 60s. Monday, an isolated chance for a storm, primarily west of D or east of DFW, excuse me. Eventually going to Tuesday, temperatures drop a bit, but back in there rebounding by Wednesday and Thursday with temperatures back into the 70s. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting, Birdies Pro Turf, and THD Vehicle Tourstep.